Hi guys, I'm Ed. I'm Harry. It's Saturday, and it might be one of the last ever One Night Stand videos we ever do, because yeah. we've done all the endings. Except for one. Indeed, so it's time for us to crack on with our final ending. Before we do that, if you guys have enjoyed us playing One Night Stand and you haven't seen any of the other videos, A, be sure to go check those out, B, be sure to like the video, C, subscribe to Game Walk if you already haven't, and D, leave us a comment letting us know the best bit of this game that you've found so far. <laughs> I feel like maybe because this is the last one, we should actually take the time to read through a lot of the dialogue on, again. Do you think? Then. Just well, for nostalgia's sake. Well, we still I, feel like crap. Yep. Drink. Lots of drink happened. Yeah, it did. Sex. Some sex happened. Ugh, what was that noise? Probably the sound of sex. That looks like sex. Mate, what the hell happened to you uh, last night? Gary, what does he want? Oh yeah, that's right. I was out with Gary last night. He doesn't sound too happy with me though. Should I respond? Son, no, Gary. fuck you, Gary. I'm a little too hungover to be dealing with Gary's moods right now. I never liked Gary. No, I've kind of never liked Gary. He always came across as a bit of a knob. Yeah. I and then we took his we, girl. Maybe. We stole your girl. Where's my phone charger? That's not it. It's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait, Ray Winston invaded why, why this game. Voice? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Where am I? My clothes, they're all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked. Again, for like the eighth episode in a row. Um, that sound, that noise of her turning over is so orgasmic and like, <sighs> the first time I heard it, I got uncomfortable. Chills? That's it. You better have a good excuse for bailing on me after one round of drinks. Well, I'm guessing... Uh, go fuck yourself, Gary. I'm not Gary. telling you about me and any bird. So what's been your uh, favourite ending to this game, would you say? That's a tough one. I don't really know. I quite like the, the last one we did where we were um, walking out the house naked and proud. I quite like that, that one. That was one of the ones that I enjoyed. Yeah. I. The ones where it has its own little animation at the end, yes. like the um, us her being sick or yep. us leaving early and she's in the kitchen, those have been some of my favourites. Just because when you see those clips that you've never seen before, you're like, this is something new, this is exciting. Yeah. I'm going back to sleep, fuck it. Guess I'll just kick back and wait for this whole thing to blow- Wait for the whole thing to blow over. What do you expect <laughs> from this? Go to the wind just to have a pint. <laughs> <laughs> I can't- oh! Oh, we're fine. She's gone! Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. Ha 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 ha. What if she wants me to leave? Well, maybe we should put on our clothes. I gotta say as well, like, this game cost us, what, £2.50? Not even. We've so, got, yeah. You know, a good, I'd say, eight hours of fun or so out of it playing it. Whereas games like. What was that one we played? Robinson the Journey. That was like 52 quid. We played it for half an hour. I've been finding this a lot with AAA games and stuff. In fact, I was having a conversation recently with a friend about. Which one was it? Ghost Recon Wildlands, and how he was saying it looked so amazing, like mm. an amazing open world game. And I, it's being released around the same time as Horizon Zero Dawn. They are the same game, yeah. but I any day of the week would pick Horizon Zero Dawn over Ghost Recon, because I'm bored of generic, boring, shooty... That's crap, that's wank, yeah. there's nothing original there. And frankly, the industry suffers from the same, and that was overpriced. Yeah. It looked nice, didn't have anything to it. We need more one-night stands. Quite both right. in game format and real life. I know this place, they do great cocktails, clearly, because you drunk fucking five of them and clearly got a sixth for free, fucking alcoholic. That's one quite expensive, I mean, are we in London? Like, is this London prices? That's well, the... she's University of Manchester. Uh, okay. So actually, this could be very cheap and northern. Oh, nasty. Mm. Uh, ah, she's back! There she is. Oh, hey! Not those eyes. Urk, what should I say? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Sorry for dashing out like that. That's okay, Robin, you've done it before. We're used to it by You've this done point. this loads of times. This has no longer been a one-night stand. This has been a, we keep doing this. <laughs> Tell me your name! Are we in a relationship accidentally? <laughs> has that happened to us? The sequel to this is just called Fuck Buddies. <laughs> I feel like I should know more about her. But to directly ask? I don't think she'd be too happy with me. Uh, nice apartment you have here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's up? You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? I'm alright. I'm feeling alright. Are you sure? You don't have to sugarcoat it. I'm absolutely fine, love. I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? I'll have a coffee. If you go, I want two sugars, please. Is that okay? Sure, I'll go put the kettle on. I hope you don't mind instant. How do you take it? Uh, I don't think we ever asked for a fancy before. We have done, yeah. Have we? With the cinnamon. And she puts loads of cinnamon in it. Oh yeah, fine, I'm gonna go Sorry. for that again. Yeah, that was funny. Frothy milk. Uh, wait, a frothy milky coffee with three sugars dusted with the just the faintest whisper of cinnamon, please. That face says it all. <laughs> um, sure. All right. I mean, she, she must have realized that was a joke, surely. Well, you'd hope so. I mean, did we realize that was a joke? That's a good question. <laughs> 
Jonas! It's probably one of the last times I could do that, so it shut is. up. I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. Ugh, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems... Cool, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah cool. she seems cool. Still, I don't even know her name. I have my clothes, though. I could just leave and spare myself the embarrassment. Now, we no. did this last time. We're gonna be nice. We now, gonna just... one thing we haven't done is we need to basically finish this without snooping through any of her belongings. Yes. So, we're gonna try and attempt to do that. Yes, thanks to Queen Creeps for telling me about this ending, by the way. It's a condom! Well, the wrapper, at least. It seems we've had some sense last night. Yep, that's fine. A thought occurs. The condom wrapper's there, but there's no condom. Where is it? <laughs> Maybe that's where she went. <laughs> Hmm, these are all her clothes. Even if I wanted to wear them, I doubt they'd fit. Don't do that again. We God. saw how that ended with the panty ending. Oh, and she's back. We haven't snooped through a thing. Nope. Here. Here's your cup of oh. fucking weird-ass coffee. Look at the coy head turn. I like that. There are so many nice frames in this game as well. Yeah, that's true. It's ba basically this entire thing is visually perfect. I yeah. hope it's to your liking. Well, you actually put the fucking effort in and maybe my weird cinnamon shit, so fine. Although there's much more than a faint whisper of cinnamon in here. <laughs> Holding up, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Good. Good. Skywalker. It feels a bit awkward again. Yeah, because you just made a Star Wars quote. That's true, yeah. That that face <laughs> would be what you get if you did that to a girl after a one-night stand. Yep. That was a wonderful night, Skywalker. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. Someone has to know something. Yeah, it was all right. Only all right. This is the 12th time we've done this, Robin. You're still not having fun. I um, mean, tell me after the second time if I need to do yeah. something better. Pick you up by the hips, run you a bath. I can do it anything. We, we have done the same thing 12 times. <laughs> I was feeling pretty down last night. I'd always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Although it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. It. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to meet, it's not fucking worth it. Especially not doing it through Tinder. I mean, that's just... I personally don't like Tinder or no, Bumble. Me neither. I mean, I've I've met people through it. It just, it doesn't work as well. I, I way prefer meeting people in I mean, person. I've met people that have been in happy relationships and even got married through Tinder, which is fine. I guess absolutely, no, them, I, I absolutely no dispute that it works for some people. I, I'm in the same boat as you. Yeah. I'd just rather meet people in person. Exactly. You listen to me go on and on and on about that dating app douchebag. The dating app douchebag, dating app douchebag, dating app, dating app, dating app, douchebag. Having fun? It could be a whole new song for this thing. I might mod it. Thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Good, no, good, but your good. vagina was. Oh. Way! Maybe I was just a shoulder for her to have sex with. <laughs> Sorry. Stop it. Stop it. Which bar did you go to with your friends? Don't remember. I don't remember. Um. Whoa, what? Uh, you don't even remember the bar you were at with your friends? A fucking hell no. That's the first place you went. You mustn't remember anything then. What? Well, hold on. We know for a fact the first place we went was a club. So why does she refer referring to it was a bar? Yeah, Robin, get your facts straight. That's true. Yeah. Maybe I can fill you in on what I know. Please do. Please do. Please do. It would help. Well, I was waiting at the bar at the Paradox nightclub around 10pm. I've been waiting there for a while. Paradox, huh? I was pretty tipsy. I vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk. We had a round together and then we got chatting. We've had a secluded spot and got back to know each other after Paradox. Got... Anyway, I'm that's all that I smile. recall. Yeah, I like that smile. It's my favorite animation frame of hers. I have no idea what happened. I killed them and their bodies are somewhere in my back garden. That face just reeks of that. <laughs> Embarrassing! Whoopsie! Uh oh, that's someone at the front door. Off you go, love. I'm gonna look around your room a little more. Ah, oh, bums! I can find some more clues around here. Right, so it's okay. not Snape. So, hang on, we know that there's a... Yeah, there's a nightclub flyer here, so that's fine. Let's click that. Paradox! Um... Yeah, that's fine. And... What else? We, we can go to the magazine. Can maybe. I click on my phone? That might work, yeah. That's two prompts, isn't it? That means that she'll... Yeah! Yeah, cool. Excellent. Sorry about that. Oh, that's fine, whatever, fuck you. Just a mailman, lots of books online. Someone actually commented on our last episode that all of these excuses and her leaving the room, everything's too... too spot on, and then the mm. pills and the wine that you don't drink. I, mean, I always wondered when we started playing this game whether there was some kind of actual hidden sinister ending behind it. Well, then there's the, also the, uh, the different IDs, remember? There's more than one ID. That's true. So the person who in the comments who was talking about it was really going like, I really suspect this person. Mm. It's made me think that she's a bit weird as well. Yeah, I mean, I would love that if it some, somehow turned out that, you know, maybe Kimoko had hidden an ending in this. It looks like a sinister hidden ending, that'd be great. That is true, yeah. Imagine if it just turns to one where she kills you before you leave. <laughs> As you reach for the front door, you feel the cold stabbing of steel through your gut. You look down, blood runs past your genitals and to your feet onto the floor. 
You're mine, Actual she says. Cannibal Robin or something. <laughs> Guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. You were nice to me last night, yeah, but were. I did expect you to leave. Could you get the fuck out of my place? I'd quite like to go to sleep and watch episodes of The Simpsons whilst eating crisps. Ahem, I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Uh, okay. Tell me something about yourself. Why, uh, let's go for my hobbies, because this answer never fucking matters anyway. What What do we know about ourselves? I mean... Well, we could be well. we could be whatever we want. What should I tell You're her about right. myself? Our hobbies, is hobbies. Good. Our hobbies are fine. Fuck you. My hobbies are great. Oh, here she goes. Uh, sorry, my hobbies that fucking nauseating. I play video games. Uh, sorry, I'll be right back. Gotta throw up out of my butt. She's gone again. That was strange. She seemed okay until I opened my mouth. What should I do? Let's just, help her. I just clocked that as you said. <laughs> she just gonna come back in? I think we're gonna. Yeah, oh, well, she always does. Whoa. Whoa! I like that frame, that's my favorite frame. Were you right beside the door? Why are you so shocked? Of course I was. What? I was worried about you. Oh. Are you okay? Not really. I just feel sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night. Or too much drink. Let's be honest. It's clearly the fucking drink. It's the latter, clearly. What should I do? Off oh. to leave. Let's go. Do you want me to go? Um, yeah. I think that's best. Okay. That's fine. We can yeah, go. That's good. I just need to get some rest. Okay, that's fine. I'll quickly grab my phone and get out. Okay, I've got all of my stuff. Yeah, we do. Oh, we're back in. Cool. I thought that was going to be the end. There's a so bus station I. just down the road from here, so you should be able to get home from there. Thanks, that's nice. fine. Listen, I appreciate we had a nice time last night. Oh, we have had these before during the first few episodes. And I am grateful for that. Okay. I just don't feel very well right now. It's all right. How should I respond? Stay friends. Stay we friends. can stay friends. Can we stay friends? Yeah, of course. Yay! Yay! Why wouldn't we be friends? Well, I could barely remember what happened last night. I still don't even know your name. A lot of the friends I have, I barely know. It's Robin! She's saying- Have we ever had her say her name? I don't think we have, actually, no. Oh my god! It's Robin! Oh, that felt so good. Oh, I love this game. Does that mean we have to call ourselves Batman, then? That's my name. Robin. Oh, I love this! It's a nice name. What a lovely way to end this. Oh. Aren't you going to tell me yours? She never knew our name. We get to tell her our name! What do we say? Wait, you don't remember my name? <laughs> nope. The shoe is on the other foot. You bitch! What are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me like that? You judged us. Sorry, it's just I thought you knew mine all along. Hey, I have my fair share of sandbar slings too. I want to try one of those. Well, that sounds good. That sounds amazing. Well, since you told me yours, my name's... What do we put in? Name? I've got an idea. I've got yeah. an idea. I've right. got an idea. I have an idea, Harry. <clears throat> I have an idea. Don't. No, no, no. Yes. yes. Back in the end badly. Gary. Oh, shit. My name's Gary. An achievement. We got an achievement called How Unfortunate. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we got it. Ha! That's a funny coincidence. What? Well, at least you're nothing like the Gary who ditched he me. He did ditch her. It was Gary. Bastard. The whole time, the story has come perfectly full circle. Wonderful. So it was Gary then. The same Gary. It's got to be. He said he ditched his date last night. God damn it. Listen, I know things have been a little awkward between us this morning, Gary. <laughs> and this isn't exactly how friendships usually start. Gary. Gary. But I had a nice time with you last night. Gary. Gary. You were there for me when I was feeling down, and you've been a real gentleman this whole time, even with your bad hangover. So yeah, let's stay in touch. Let's. Oh my God, Harry, Look my heart just melted. Oh, what are we doing? Are we went for a, went for a hug. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. What a lovely way to end this series. What a perfect way to end this series. Robin sees you to the front door and enters your mobile number onto her phone. Got a mobile number. Despite her still feeling unwell, you sense Robin is happy about how things went between you both that morning. You say your goodbyes and follow the directions you were given to the bus station. Nice. Despite your hangover, you had fun chatting to her. The morning might have been awkward at times, but at least you were honest with each other throughout. You enjoy getting to know a little more about her before you left. There we wow. go. When you arrive home, you charge your phone and discover a message you believe to be Robin. Thanks. I thought we put a number on our phone, so it would come as Robin, wouldn't it? Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm just in pickles. I wonder how else that could have played out. Harry, I just got goosebumps all the way down my body. There we and go. And that's it. 12 endings. What's that down the bottom there? That is a good question. What is this down here? That's Robin, isn't it? What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god! Look at that! Oh my god! That's brilliant! Wow, I, I don't know what that was. Up yours, Gary! Jesus, well, guys, that's. 
That's one night stand. That's done. That's, that's the beautiful. only way we can put it. This has been probably the most magical thing I've yeah. ever experienced. I mean, I've I loved enjoyed it. this game more than any other I've played the past year and a bit. Absolutely. Just, just saying so much. So to Lucy Blundell, who has been so amazing at supporting us throughout every episode we've done of this, thank you yes. for making a game as magical and beautiful and perfectly crafted as this. It's really amazing. You deserve as much success and notoriety from this as you could possibly get. We and love you. yeah, we can't wait to see what you come up with next. Absolutely. I'm very excited. Guys, if you've enjoyed this, be sure to give KimMoko87, Lucy Blundell, so much love. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to GameMog if you already haven't. Go and download this game for yourself because it's so worth having. Right. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. See you then, guys. Bye, Bye Zeus. Zeus.